Hey everybody, good to see you today. Today I want to teach you about priorities. And uh, in order to do that, let me use this right up here. I have a tube with a green, yellow, and red spot on it. And inside of the tube, I have some balls that match the same color scheme here. So green, yellow, and red. And I'm going to use these three balls today to talk about priorities. Each one is going to represent something different. So let's get them out right here. And we can use these today for our lesson. You see, we can let this green one represent something that's important to a lot of people. It could be money. That could be one of the things people are really interested in and would like to have in their lives. Or, or the yellow one here, this could represent um, other people, other people's interests, um, other things that maybe you might be interested in or, or other people that are in your life. And this last one here we're going to use to represent God. You see, I'm going to put this tube right on top and we'll place the three different priorities in, whether that be money or whether that be others, um, maybe that's serving, or and then the, right on top should be God. Now sometimes people's priorities get a little bit out of whack. Um, just like we see here, we should have God on top, but some people have God in the wrong place in their lives. He often takes a back seat. He gets time that's just kind of left over. Maybe no time at all at the end of the day after you've packed your day full of other things because there's other things that are important to you. Now, that, I'm not saying that other things can't be important to you, but we need to make sure that God stays number one in our lives. So, let's put the money on the bottom and others next, and then finally, God on top where he should be. You see, the Bible is very clear that we need to keep God number one. And so, just like in our illustration, wait a minute, hold on here, God got placed on the bottom again. Oh, I have an idea. Let's do this. We're going to take and we will put um, their money on the bottom where it's supposed to be others and other interests there. And then um, this one, though, I'm going to take and put in this little box right here because sometimes, like I said, people end up forgetting all about where God should be. And so it ends up causing some different problems. And eventually, if you keep God at the bottom, well, eventually you might just forget and leave him out entirely. And he's not going to be where he should be in your life as the number one priority. We should keep God number one. With other people, or with money and others, you know, still before ourselves, but with God in that number one spot. We want to keep the main thing, the main thing. Isn't that cool? So I'll tell you what, let's do this. I'll show you one more time. Because like I said, we'll put the green on the bottom to match that too, then the yellow, and finally the red. That's representing God. But sometimes people, it's so easy to just kind of forget about that. Forget to take time every day to pray and read their Bibles and just spend time with God. You know, God wants a relationship with you. And it's important to make sure, hold on here, look at that. Make sure that we keep him number one in our lives where he's supposed to be. Not just kind of thrown off in the side, but number one in our lives. So let's do this again here. We have you know, sometimes people will say that uh, priorities is a little bit like juggling. Have you ever said heard of somebody trying to keep a whole bunch of plates in the air? Or maybe juggling different priorities. Watch this. Oh, look at this. We have one, two, three, four, and five. I think we can do it. Look at this. There's a lot of different priorities. Let's just make sure that we keep God. Thank you very much. May God bless you, and we will see you soon. Bye.